in uh, in the uh, in the y axis you've got the um, each uh, particular animal each line is a particular uh, animal and as you can see we've got the b c and uh, and a so the a is amphetamine administration the the, the b is a context context response following uh, chronic morphine administration and the C is a uh, appetitive social interaction. On the X axis, you've got the substances and the uh, brain structures. Uh, brain structures they are bound up uh, with in some clusters, and you can see that uh, this heat map demonstrates that social interaction. So this red one uh, 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 is the most strongest stimulus activating neurochemical transmission in a range of brain structure in activating 50 kilohertz USB to the highest uh, highest degree. So uh, ultrasonic vocalization are important for uh, uh, coordinating social behavior in rats. And an examination of the neurochemical mechanism that governs social behavior and the ultrasonic vocalization emission is uh, crucial for understanding the social impairments that occur in many neuropsychiatric disorders. To elucidate the neurochemical changes in the brain structures related to the social behavior and their mutual relationship, we conducted three-phase uh, uh, experiment. Then neurochemicals were measured in the following behavioral situation. So without social encounter, with short social encounter, it's a 50 minutes uh, encounter, and with long uh, social encounter in isolated and non-isolated animals. And the aims of the study were to extract the most important neurotransmitters and their metabolites that are involved in the social encounter induced emission of 50 kilohertz uh, calls. Uh, elucidate mutual relationship among the neurochemical changes in the uh, selective brain structure and analyze compound relationship uh, by step uh, step analysis. We would like to create the model of all to all neurotransmitter correlation and find the neurochemical basis of 50 kilohertz USV emission during social uh, social encounter. We use the model, <clears throat> the model of the, the, the social deprivation. So uh, the, the animals are uh, habituated for uh, 10, uh, 10 days. They got the undisturbed social interaction in the cohort. And then they got the 21 day social isolation. So this is a social deprivation. And then they get the social encounter uh, after isolation, which triggers uh, the ultrasonic, ultrasonic vocalization. After, uh, after uh, the behavioral testing, they are sac sacrificed and the brain uh, tissue is uh, uh, analyzed and uh, made a color correlation with the behavior and all to all uh, modeling. We are using such, uh, uh, <clears throat> such cages, we build them uh, because we, uh, we, we, we thought that um, that the, we we have some leaking leaking the uh, the sound be, between uh, between cages and using this this kind of uh, this kind of cages we uh, avoid this uh, this leaking key effects. Uh, here you've got the, the example of the oh sorry I don't probably I won't okay uh, example of the uh, of the, the, the social interaction. Mm, of the social interaction in rats. We've got four microphones and you can see the, on the left, we've got the channel one, channel two on the right, four, three and four a channel. And as you can see, not like in mice, the rats don't have to be very close. They don't, don't have to uh, touch each other to, uh, to vocalize. Of course, when they are pinning on pulsing, uh, they are vocalizing, uh, vocalizing a lot. All right, so uh, what are the effects of 21 uh, social uh, deprivation on the number of 50 kilohertz during the social interaction test? So as you can see in isolated animals, we've got the, uh, the increased uh, levels of the uh, ultrasonic vocalization in short interaction and in the long, in, uh, long interaction. And what are the correlation between the USB count, so the number of the U, uh, USB episodes, and the neurotransmitter uh, levels? Uh, we found uh, 33 significant uh, sperm correlation between the number of the USB episodes. And uh, I'll mark uh, here uh, some of them. We've got the uh, uh, positive uh, correlation uh, with the metabolites of the uh, of the dopamine, uh, so the free MT in the VTA, ventral tegmental area, and also in the caudate putamen uh, in long social interaction. We've got the, uh, the serotoninergic effects in the CPU, 
and long social interaction and uh, in the uh, CPU and also in the nucleus accumbens, uh, the, 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 the concentration of the serotonin uh, positively correlates with the ultrasounds. And what is, uh, what is important, we've got also uh, the positive correlation with the glutamate in amygdala and glutamate in the ventral segmental, segmental area. And what are the effects of social interaction on neurotransmitters levels? We analyzed both the effects of the presence or absence of social uh, encounter in short and long uh, b b b social interaction. So uh, when we are looking at the effects of social interaction, so this is the com comparing uh, isolated to non-isolated animals. When we took uh, those short, uh, short social interaction, we can see that uh, we've got the decreased levels of the uh, dopamine metabolite in the nucleus accumbens, so the dopac, and uh, in, the, in the amygdala. And we've got the decreased levels of glutamate in the nucleus accumbens, and the ratio of glutamate, glutamate to glutamine in the major prefrontal cortex and also in the, uh, in the CPU. When we are looking closer to the, uh, to the long social interaction, we can see, uh, we can see a few, a few effects. Uh, we've got the serotoninergic uh, effects. So the, uh, the serotonin levels, concentration of the serotonin in the hippocampus is higher in the isolated uh, animals after long social interaction and also in the nucleus accumbens. And um, uh, in, the, in the CPU, we've got the uh, increased levels of, uh, increased levels of uh, um, certain meta metabolite. We've got also the, uh, the uh, effects of the dopamine. So we've got the higher uh, the, the dopamine level, increased dopamine uh, levels in the VTA, and also uh, increased uh, the dopamine metabolite, the free MT uh, in the nucleus accumbens and the VTA, and also increased levels of HVA in the CPU. This is also the dopamine, uh, the, uh, dopamine metabolites. But when we are looking on the uh, animals, which were not proceeded through the social interaction, so uh, we are, for, for there were, um, it, this is a comparing from the isolated to the control, so non-isolated animals. We found only one difference in the glycine in the, uh, in the VTA. What is interesting, the glycine in the VTA uh, rises dramatically for, um, during the uh, social, social interaction and get the positive correlation with the glutamate in amygdala and the glutamate and the VTA, and also the glycine, uh, glycine in the hippocampus and uh, dopax, so it's a metabolite of the VTA, uh, of the dopamine in the, in the VTA. So we've made the stage analysis of social encounter in all animals. And you can, we made this stage analysis to understand what is really hap happening during this, this social, social interaction or trying to understand what is, what is really happening. And we can see that when we took all old groups, so isolated and non-isolated non animals together, we can see that we've got the, uh, the serotonergic uh, 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 dec decrease in the hippo hippocampus. Uh, uh, we've got the uh, uh, stage, uh, stage effects in the amygdala, in the, the serotonergic, and we've got also the uh, glutamate increase, uh, the stage increase in the hippocampus, amygdala, and, uh, and uh, VTA. We've got also uh, the stage increased in the GABA concentration in the hippocampus and uh, and in the in the VTA. So the stage analysis of social encounter. Uh, but, uh, but then, then we made the uh, stage analysis of social encounter in separate in isolated and non-isolated animals to, to understand the new neurochemical background of observed substantial increase in number of fifty kilohertz during encounter, and. Um, when we took only isolated animals, uh, we can see that we have uh, uh, some V-shaped effects of, this, uh, of the uh, uh, metabolites of the um, serotonin, 5-PM, in amygdala and in uh, CPU. And we've got uh, uh, increased levels in the VTA of the DOPAC in the uh, uh, isolated animals. So we get the stage effects. And we got also uh, this is the, mo the most important, important effect, effect 
uh, the um, uh, increase stage increase in the glutamate in the hippocampus, VTA and, uh, and amygdala. We get also the stage effect in the hippocampus, in GABA in the hippocampus and in the, uh, in the VTA. When we took uh, only uh, non-isolated animals, we've got the stage effect on the uh, glutamate stage effect only in the uh, only in the hippocampus. But we've got also the GABA uh, uh, the stage effect in the GABA uh, concentration in the uh, in the hippocampus. So we took those uh, those uh, hippocampal GABA concentration and we we check if what if what are the correlation with those uh, with the substances and we found that the, the GABA uh, the concentration in the hippocampus positively correlates with the uh, glutamate in the hippocampus, glutamate in the VTA, and glutamate in the, uh, in the amygdala. Then we took the glutamate in the amygdala to check if, if we got uh, the correlation, for example, with the, uh, with the uh, GABA concentration in the VTA. And we found that we don't have, but we have uh, the positive correlation with the concentration of GABA in the hippocampus, the concentration of glutamate in the hippocampus and uh, glutamate in the amygdala. So we took the, um, uh, the concentration of the glutamate in the amygdala and uh, found the, the, the correlation. And we found that uh, glutamate in the amygdala correlates positively with the nucleus accumbens glutamate hippocampus and also in the VTA concentration, glutamate in the VTA. We've got also the positive correlation with the uh, hippocampus, GABA in the hippocampus and amygdala uh, and uh, GABA in the, uh, in the amygdala. So uh, we took together all those, uh, all those substances uh, and uh, we found uh, and we found that, and we made this uh, this kind of uh, model. As as you remember, maybe maybe where, where, where I, I think I said that uh, that in this model we've got the particular the substances in the particular brain structures, in the several brain structures, and those um, um, black lines are the co co positive correlations, and the red ones. <clears throat> red lines are negative correlation and the width of the of the line is a uh, uh, magnitude of the co correlation and those uh, uh, those green uh, um, those green uh, rounds uh, um, around the ellipse is a positive correlation with the uh, with the uh, ultrasonic localization. So the social interaction induced 50 kilohertz USV is bound up with the glutamate in the amygdala and the VTA, glycine in the amygdala, VTA, hippocampus, nucleus accumbens, and CPU, and GABA in the VTA, and dopamine metabolites in the VTA and the CPU. And the most central substance uh, in this graph was the glycine in the uh, in the hippocampus. So the, the here are the conclusions. Uh, here are the conclusions. So the, the presented analysis demonstrate the neurochemical changes depends on the duration of the social encounter, as the neurotransmission pathway are likely activated in a sequ sequential manner uh, rather than in that independently. We have shown the several neurotransmitter system to progressively activate during the social encounter, the serotonergic neurotransmission nucleus accumbens, CPU and the amygdala, dopaminergic neurotransmission in the CPU and the hippocampus, GABAergic system uh, in the hippocampus and VTA, glutamatergic system in the VTA, hippocampus and amygdala. Uh, isolation causes increase in the levels of dopamine in the VTA as well as uh, has enhanced uh, uh, free MT, so this is my metabolite of the, the dopamine in nucleus accumbens, CPU, and VTA in rats after long uh, social encounter. Uh, and social encounter induced 50 kilohertz is bound up with the glutamate in amygdala and uh, VTA glycine in amygdala, VTA hippocampus, nucleus accumbens, and CPU, and dopamine metabolites in the VTA and the CPU. Uh, this uh, results were um, uh, presented in the paper uh, uh, published in the European Neuropsychopharmacology uh, last year, uh, and you can find uh, all the uh, all the effects in the uh, Neuro Reward GitHub. Uh, this is the interactive table when you can click or declick uh, 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 some substances or effects or red groups and compare them. Uh, compare them. All right, so. We would like to test. We, we, we will test this uh, this hypothesis that the, the glutamate in the VTA and the uh, and the amygdala really get uh, some function. So we use the hemogenetic experiments for functional mapping, 
of course, this is uh, one of the first first experiments uh, in this uh, in this uh, paradigm of uh, uh, social interaction. Uh, we use the specific viral construct with the gene containing the design inhibitory receptor threads. Uh, with CAM kinase promoter targeting glutaminergic neurons. And this construct was surgically injected into the amygdala and VTA. And after three weeks of social isolation, we performed a test, which we induced positive social interaction with appetitive USV uh, in the 50 kilohertz span. We used uh, uh, the ligand in the dose, uh, the ligand J16 in the dose 0.3 milligrams per kilogram. And we administrated um, uh, 30 minutes before this. Here is the di diagram of the experiment. And uh, here we get the habituation and the surgery, and then 21 day social isolation. And then we, we tested the social interaction test after uh, acute hemogenetic modulation. Uh, on uh, social interaction processing in affective states, so after isolation. All right, uh, during this experiment, we found uh, that rats, uh, rats got uh, different voices. So we are uh, together with uh, Myron Krusa and, uh, and uh, Victoria, we are preparing the, uh, the um, manuscript uh, that will show that rats got the different voices. Here you've got the uh, entropy, analysis of entropy of the of the voices. Here is during the tickling and during pumping. So this is the pumping. We call it pumping because we found that when you gentle, uh, uh, gentle um, uh, squeeze, uh, uh, gently squeeze the the, the animal, it uh, uh, emits emits ultrasounds. Uh, it's not the same ultrasounds like uh, during tickling, but we can predict predict which animal was a tickle or which animal was pumping when we are looking for, for each day for uh, of the of the experiments. All right, so uh, here are the results of this manipulation, homogenetic manipulation. We found out that uh, the number of the USV are the same, but uh, the, we turn on the 22 uh, the kilohertz uh, uh, calls, so uh, this alarm calls in the group that were um, uh, uh, administrated with the ligand, the activator of the receptors. All animals get the receptors in the, the, the design dreads, so design receptors in the VTA and the amygdala, the receptors which get the inhibitory effects uh, of the glutamatergic uh, neurons. And uh, those which uh, uh, get the inhibition of the suppression of the activation act of, the, of the glutamatergic neurotransmission in the VTA and the amygdala express a lot of, a lot of 22, uh, 22 kilohertz. It's, uh, when you get to the 50 kilohertz, it looks like this. Uh, and we, when we get the 22 kilohertz, so in the animals uh, that get, uh, get the suppression of the glutamatergic uh, neurotransmission in the amygdala and the VTA, those, uh, uh, those 50, kil 50 kilohertz turns to the 20, 22 kilohertz, but not, not all those, uh, not all those sounds. For, so when you, uh, when you look closer for, for the mean frequency and uh, episode duration, you can see that in this group on the left, you get the I don't know it, what is what is the color, but probably it's uh, blue or or, or green. Uh, but we turn on the uh, aversive calls. So uh, um, on the red one, we've got you've got the 50, 50 kilohertz, and the uh, and the, the green one are uh, are uh, uh, 20, 22. When we look closer, uh, how the, the distribution of this uh, of the sounds looks in the time, it was 20 minutes, 20 minutes period. So we've got here the saline, uh, the saline, the free, the free uh, in, uh, social interaction with the saline. So without, uh, without inhibition of the glutamatergic, uh, glutamatergic neurotransmission in the amygdala and the VTA. And those uh, four, uh, four uh, pairs, are, uh, um, are those which get the suppression of the glutamatergic neurotransmission in the VTA and, uh, uh, and in, the, in the amygdala. So you can see that uh, in, in, uh, in the half of time, there are a lot, a lot of 2022. So we look closer uh, to this and here you've got the uh, overlaps. 
So um, uh, the mix calls, so when you get the overlap on the 50 kilohertz on 22 kilohertz in the same time, it's red. Uh, when they are separate without, uh, without uh, overlapping, it's green. Uh, when you get to 22 kilohertz, so when they are uh, relying, uh, relying capacitive calls, it's uh, blue. And uh, when you get the 250 kilohertz, it's uh, fuchsia uh, or violet. Uh, okay, so you can see that there are a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, overlapping uh, overlapping uh, um, sounds, uh, also in the, uh, the mix calls. But uh, but we get a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, overlapping twenty two. Uh, uh, kilohertz. Right now, we are preparing to the uh, to the uh, experiments that we will uh, homo uh, homo check the homogeneity activation and inhibition in this free structure. So we separated the uh, the, the structure VTA amygdala and hippocampus, and we'll check how how it works. Hopefully, we'll build some kind of uh, uh, some kind of cage uh, uh, cage to an analyze this to get the um, the effects of the chronic of the chronic uh, uh, modification uh, of the chronic modification. Here is the the cage that we uh, the the dream cage. Yes, and <laughs> we're gonna see if we get the money for, money for, for for creating this this kind of uh, this kind of thing. We know that ultrasounds and the neurotransmission is very complex phenom phenomena, but uh, still we are um, uh, still we are trying to understand what is really going on. Okay, and here you've got the uh, the, the the last two, two slides. I will show you the great software. Uh, for uh, great software for um, filtering and um, uh, this is not for analyzing this is a software isotope uh, the rx7 uh, isotope this software is used for filmmakers and you can uh, you can filter filter the uh, ultrasounds and then we put those filtering filtered uh, ultrasounds into our software rat track and it's uh, it ca catches uh, automatically all all episodes and it's it really uh, works works well i would like to uh, to thank the Marian Kursa uh, Tomasz Jaroszewski, Wiktoria Karbicka, Monika Falińska, Kacper Kukliński, Danuta Turzyńska, Alicja Sobolewska, Patrycja Daszczuk, Paweł Bogrzewski, Rafał Kczajkowski, and Ewelina Klapska. And their research was supported by the National Science Center uh, Poland. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your talk. Um, so we do have... Uh, one question, maybe not directly re related to your uh, presentation, however, with your re research. Um, so um, having known that you work both on mice or rats, um, why would you tend to choose rats <laughs> over mice to do this kind of research? Yes. Um... This is uh, this is uh, quite uh, quite interesting. I was um, uh, I was working with mice uh, in the, the Sylvie Granon laboratory in the University of uh, Paris Saclay uh, for the few last months, uh, and I know that uh, mice get uh, um, rats get the bigger uh, bigger repertoire of the of the ultrasounds because I I know it is. Um, Using using hemogenetics methods, it's easier to use um, uh, mice and look what what is going on. When but when we are looking on the emotions and uh, how to change, how to switch emotions, and or for for example, how to uh, trigger the social social interaction with the uh, fifty kilohertz uh, ultrasound, so this positive one, the rats are better better uh, better model for for me. For me, I know that it is possible to do it uh, on mice, but when we are looking on the uh, ultrasounds, rats uh, get the biggest uh, biggest uh, repertoire of the ultrasounds. Mm 